Hey guys, what's going on? Dace here, and today I've got a, uh, an unpackaging and not so much a product review, but we're just gonna, like, yeah, I'll share my first impressions and we'll see. Uh, so in some ways it'll kind of be a review because we'll just on the spot see what we think and uh, that will be that. So anyway, let's get right into this. So. What I've picked up here is the Nintendo um, PlayStand. That's the, the official product name. So yeah, anyway, uh, the story goes um, with my Joy-Cons being the way they are, or at least the one. It's rendered playing in handheld, just, yeah, pretty much a non-existent experience. But I don't always want to just be uh, on the TV, so sometimes I will still like boot up and I'll just use like the Pro Controller and I'll just set the Switch somewhere. But to be honest, like I, I've never been fond of this whole um, like little stand thing, like as great as that is. That's just not, not something I am too trusting of or really even want to bother using, uh, just because I'm just not crazy about it. So. I figured, okay, I'm gonna get uh, like an official stand that I can just set somewhere that just looks a little more sturdy and that is gonna be that. And that way I can still be doing the whole Joy-Con thing, but it doesn't require that I have like this elaborate setup of like whether it be like, oh, stacking books or like whatever the case would be just so that I can put this thing upright. So anyway, we're gonna get right into this. Um, that's a bit of a spiel, but... So there was another one, I got this on Amazon. Um, there was another one that I was checking out, which was about nine bucks Canadian. Um, this one was about double the price, but it just looked that much more interesting to me and it just looked more like a quality product. So we're looking at the bottom right now. We got the rubber pads here so that's not slipping. Hori. Um, yeah, there are a bunch of products and uh, this is just the one that I would decide to go with. So how do we even open this thing up? There's got to be a way. So really, oh, okay, sweet. So. Right off the bat, um, you just pinch these two side things here, like so, and then that opens up. You've got uh, those two um, <clears throat> notches, and so you can you can either have it like that. Uh, let's get the center there, or like that. So I'm I'm definitely wanting something that's going to be a little more um, upright. And okay, so that just flops down like that. So there you have it. That's pretty much the stand. Um, right off the bat, I'm really, really liking the look, the feel, now that I know exactly how to open it, all that kind of stuff. So now we just, um, and interesting to note um, on here, I'll see whether it, those like two little dots are like little pegs. So what you can do is match them with those guys right there, <clears throat> excuse me, and that way there is that much less movement. So, oh, there you can see the reflection of the tripod, another great product. So anyway, um, yeah, overall I'm liking this. It feels really sturdy. I might pick up another one at some point just to do like a comparison between two, like the, uh, the cheaper one that I mentioned, because I'd be interested in seeing what that one's like as well. But for now, this is gonna be perfect. I can just sit on the couch, have this in front of me, and uh, do what I wanna do, or I can go like that. I suppose you could always even add in your own extra notches if you wanted it a little more, or even just like add a little extra length. You wouldn't wanna to go too much, um, but if you were to extend, then you could just be having it like coming up more vertically. But uh, at the same time, it's like, yeah, who wants to be, yeah, buying something and then just adding to it when they could just be designing that in the first place. But overall, I'm liking this. This is perfect for what I'm going to be doing with it. 
So anyway, uh, we'll take this off. We'll take another look at this, just like up close. So we got um, rub two rubber pads here as well on the front, so that when it's resting, all that great stuff. Uh, also down here where we saw the two pegs, there's there are also two rubber pads on there. So lots of support for keeping it stable and not uh, moving around. Not that most people are going to be like bumping coffee tables and all that kind of stuff anyway, but you never know. Um, so yeah, and it's super simple to put away. It just literally collapses uh, like that, or like however you want to do it. It's like the, the most simple thing. I think this is fantastic and well worth the cost. And when you put it away, it's nice and slim, and that is awesome. So yeah, anyway, that's gonna wrap this up, you guys. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. If you use a stand specifically for Switch, or if you just rig your own thing at home, whatever the case is, I would love to hear the feedback. And as always, you guys have an awesome day, and we will see you next time.